Hi, I'm Kelsey Mays for Cars.com. This is the car you've been waiting for. Probably the reason that you've come to watch all of our 2013 Detroit Auto Show coverage. The 2014 Chevrolet Corvette, a reimagined, redesigned seventh generation of Chevy's icon. The Corvette actually takes the Stingray moniker now, celebrating the Corvette of 1963 to 1967 fame. We're going to take a closer look at what differentiates this from the sixth generation Corvette. It's a very dramatic restyling. In fact, Chevrolet says that just two parts are shared between this Corvette and its predecessor. Uh, you look up here, the headlights have uh, LED um, implements up there. The hood and the roof are actually carbon fiber. It's a standard feature on this generation of Corvette. Uh, lowers weight, especially up top here, to keep the weight distribution toward the bottom part of the car, which should improve handling. Now, Chevy says all of these vents that you see on the Corvette are functional heat extraction here from the engine. Again, over here on the side, as you come around to the back here, uh, this vent right here funnels air into the rear differential, and it comes out here uh, in these areas at the very end of the car. Now, as you look at the end, this is probably the most dramatic redesigned element of the Corvette. Uh, you've got very bold looking tail lights. The traditional Corvette quad exhausts have been moved into the center now. The old Corvette had more of a traditional look. This one, definitely not. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make a big impression on you as it's driving away. Versus the last base Corvette, wheelbase is up about an inch, overall length up about two and a half inches. The car sits about a half inch lower, but most importantly, overall width is up almost an inch and a half. In fact, it's only about two inches short of the outgoing Corvette Z06, which had a wider track. If you want, there's a Corvette Z51 performance package, which adds things like dry sump, oil, pump. Uh, it's got an electronic limited slip rear differential, it's got enhanced aerodynamics, it's got additional cooling systems for the transmission, for the oil, stuff like that should really even take the Corvette's handling potential to the next level. Big interior upgrade, you can see there's a lot of uh, upholstery wrapped surfaces around you. There's two types of seats here. There's a GT seat, which is what you're seeing, um, that's got a magnesium frame. Uh, and if uh, you really want to take the car to the track, uh, Chevy makes a competition sports seat with even more bolstering. Uh, a couple standard features, there's a standard MyLink 2 system, the second generation of uh, GM's MyLink system uh, occupies the center part of the dashboard, it's got a large screen there. There's also an LCD screen between analog gauges uh, in front of the steering wheel, which allows you to uh, look at a lot of different things there as well. There's also what Chevy calls a competition sports seat, it's got even higher bolsters there if you want to take the car to the track. Under the hood is a new V8. It's still a pushrod 6.2 liter, but it's got a bunch of new technologies. Things like cylinder deactivation to improve fuel economy, uh, direct fuel injection, uh, variable valve timing, a lot of firsts for the Corvette. 450 horsepower, 450 pounds-feet of torque, drives the rear wheels and gets the car from zero to 60 in less than four seconds, Chevrolet says. How does it do that? Well, it goes through a six-speed automatic with paddle shifters or, first ever, a seven-speed manual transmission. Now, that makes Chevrolet the second brand besides Porsche to offer a seven-speed manual, and in the Corvette, it rev matches for you, much like the manual transmissions in a Nissan Z or a BMW M5. So you downshift, it automatically kicks up the revs, uh, makes it a lot easier to do that. Kind of cool that it's now in the Corvette. This is the first of the seventh generation Corvettes, and most likely there will be other additions like a convertible, a Z06, other high-performance cars coming out uh, afterwards. This is the first one comes out this fall, so stay tuned for more.